Welcome to another video. This problem was an intermediate step in answering another question when I used it and I felt it was a good video material. And all we have to do is prove that n combination k plus n combination k minus 1 is n plus 1 combination k. Now, for those of you who, don't, who are not familiar with combinatorics, or at least you, you, you don't understand this notation, because I remember when I learned it many years ago, we used to use the symbol C. Let me give you an example. Say I want to compute 5 combination 2. Now, what does this mean? It means I want to choose 2 out of 5. So if I have 5 objects, I want to choose any 2. How many ways can I do that? That's how you write it. And this basically means you have 5 factorial, over 5 over 2 factorial, okay, multiplied by 5 minus 2 factorial, which is going to be 3 factorial. That's what this means. So we want to show that if you are supposed to do this, okay, let's make this, um, I'm going to actually change this because I want this to go down. Okay, it's fine. We can leave it, and then this is going to be 5 combination 1 which is 2 minus 1, in this case, k minus 1. That makes life a lot easier. <laughs> okay, that was not the example I planned to use, but now I can have 5 factorial over 1 factorial times 5 minus 1 factorial, which is 4 factorial. Okay, what we're trying to say is that this is going to be equal to 6 combination 2. Remember, another notation is 5, 2, plus 5, 1, equals 6, 2. That will be the literal interpretation of that one. So what we have here, we want to show that this plus this is equal to 6 factorial over 2 factorial times 6 minus 2, that's 4 factorial. Let's see if that is true. Well, we can compute this because we know 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. So that cancels this out. What you have, am I supposed to do? Okay, I'm just going to run through this. So this is the same thing as 5 times 4 times 3 factorial, okay, over 2. 2 factorial is 2, and this is 3 factorial. Plus, this is going to be 5 times 4 factorial over, because I see it here, over 1 factorial is 1 and 4 factorial is here. It's going to be equal to, I'm going to do 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over, this is 2, and then you have 4 factorial. So, what do we have? This takes this out, and this is 20 divided by 2, that's 10. Let's go here. This takes this out, and that gives me 5. And when I get here, I'm going to have, this cancels this out, 6 times 5 is 30, and 30 divided by 2 is 15. So it looks like the formula will always work, and this is it. So n combination k plus n combination k minus 1, you just drop this one one step, is the same thing as increasing the original one one step. n plus 1 combination k. So we're going to do that. Now, this is a very easy proof to do, it's just that you have to know what you're looking for, otherwise things look confusing. So the first thing I'm going to do is just write it the way I used it here. So I know that what I have here is going to be n factorial over k factorial n minus k factorial. Plus, if I write this, it's going to be n factorial over k minus 1 factorial times the difference between these two is going to be n minus k minus 1, which will become plus 1 factorial. So the difference between these two is what this is. So the minus will change this other minus into a plus. So basically, this is what I have, and this would be equal to, let's say we don't know this guy. Let's just put a question mark. Suppose we don't know, but we want it to end up being this guy. Okay? Now, 
is there any further simplification in, a, in an exercise like this what you want is to create things here that look exactly as what are the things that are here so you can factor them already i can see n factorial on top of both of them so i know that's coming out but what can i take out from here and from here they don't look alike at all so what i might do is reconsider you see this is a lower factorial than k factorial it means that i can rewrite this k factorial and go one step down so i can generate k minus one factorial so i can say that this is n factorial over this k factorial i'm going to write it as k times k minus one factorial so this is going to be k times k minus one factorial let me be sure the camera is catching that angle. Yes. So I have rewritten this, gone one step. Now, n minus k factorial, I'm fine with that because this is a higher step than this one. So I'm going to write n minus k factorial, n minus k factorial. Now I go here, plus I have n factorial over, we still have our question mark. I have k minus one here, I have k minus one here factorial, so I'm good. So I'm gonna write k minus one factorial. Now here, I want it to look like this, because this is one extra step, you can see behind, so I can write this as n minus k plus 1 times n minus k factorial. So this is n minus k plus 1 times n minus k factorial. This is still the same as this. Okay? So instead of writing 3 factorial, it's like saying 3 times 2 factorial. You just go one step down by subtracting 1 from 3 before writing a factorial. That's exactly what I did. Subtract 1 and you get this. Now, it looks like we have established things that are common here, both in the numerator and the denominator. So this has k minus 1 factorial. This also has it. This has n minus k factorial. This also has it. And we're going to pull them aside. I want to use here because there's more space. So from here, I can factor out n factorial. So I have n factorial over what's common in the... Um, so now I'm pulling this out. I'm going to take out k minus 1 factorial and n minus k factorial. So I have k minus 1 factorial and n minus k factorial. Okay, so that's what I just did. I just factored out this and this and this. So what I have left is here in the denominator 1 over k, right? Plus. I've taken this out, I've taken this out, I've taken this out. So I only have n minus k plus 1. 1 over n minus k plus 1. And there's no factorial. Okay, we've taken out all the factorials. All we have to do is simplify this one and see what it gives us. This is equal to, we still don't know. <sighs> no, come on, I didn't write this well. Factorial. So the factorial for this one is on the outside. Okay, let's simplify the inside here. If we simplify this, you notice that we're going to get um, n minus k plus 1 plus k all over k into n minus k plus 1. That's what we're going to get times. which is going to be n factorial over k minus 1 factorial n minus k factorial. Okay, we still don't know what this is going to equal, but things are going to clean up immediately. Note that, so I just simplified this fraction into 1. This is going to be minus k plus k will cancel out, so what you have left is just n plus 1. So our next line is going to be 
n plus 1 times n factorial. n plus 1 times n factorial. Divided by, now let's see. Look, I have k here and I have k minus 1. This is the same thing as k times k minus 1 factorial. And here I have n minus k factorial times n minus k plus 1. So this is the factorial, which is n minus k plus 1 factorial. Hmm, it's beginning to look clean now. See what this looks like. This is the same thing as n plus 1 factorial. Now in the denominator, this is k factorial, clearly. This is k factorial. And what is this? Actually, I can actually rewrite this so that I bring this one here and it becomes n plus 1 minus k factorial. You see that? I just brought this one here. So now n is now n plus 1 minus k, which would mean that this is equal to n plus 1 factorial over k factorial n plus 1 minus k factorial. Well, it looks like that's the same thing I wrote here. And the notation for that is basically n plus 1. Okay. Done. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.